I've thought about this a lot as a gay male, the fact that it's pretty empowering the wonderful symbiotic relationship a lot of gay men have with women. And I have a couple of theories as to why we share in this symbiosis. And that is because for us as gay men, women are typically, not all the time, but typically the first individuals who end up accepting us and befriending us and empowering us, right? And for women, and if you are a female listener and you want to correct me if I'm wrong, please do. I encourage that because I can't speak from the female perspective, only provide theories. My theory for women is that um, we as gay men serve as like this first example of male acceptance, of respect that they usually don't see until they, you know, are grown more and experience men who have reached a certain state of maturity, right? So, like, it's a very important set, like, level of acceptance that we both derive from one another. I think that's very important. But unfortunately, in my observation, sometimes, especially if there's trauma involved on in the histories of both parties, sometimes that can kind of devolve into the token gay stereotype. And what that is essentially, and I've written it about this in in my collection of poems recently, but I wanted to talk about it in this video. But what being a token gay is, is it's a gay male who ends up serving this purpose, becoming this ideal male figure for the woman, but also the woman kind of capitalizes on the stereotype central to the LGBTQ plus community that the, you know, cis heteronormative culture has kind of cultivated, right? Additionally, on the gay male side of things, being the token gay kind of places him in a power dynamic where sometimes if he has some latent misogyny or sexism, it can lead to being very, you know, uh, disrespectful toward the woman and, and problematic in a variety of different ways. So I think when it comes to being, you know, that gay friend um, in a group or where you are aware that there is trauma on both sides of a friendship, I think it's important to be conscious of those things. I know in the past I've had to be conscious of that and I've had to unlearn various behaviors and I've had to learn how to point out and hold people accountable for various behaviors. Um, and it's it can be very intimidating and scary and really alarming when you discover something about yourself or someone else. So I guess if if you see yourself being placed in the position of being a token gay, quote unquote, just be mindful of what that does to you and what that does to other people and um, be mindful of your own behavior and other people's behavior at the same time because you don't want anything to kind of degrade into codependence or toxicity. Mind you, I should say unhealthy codependence and toxicity, so on and so forth. So those are just my thoughts for the day today. I'm probably a little too energized on coffee and when I get on coffee, I'm overanalyzing everything. So thank you for listening. I love you. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.